What's up guys, my name is Technobber here for Troubleshoot and today I've got another video for you on OBS. So recently I've been helping one of my friends set up their OBS and I've got quite confused over some of the things that I was explaining to them, so creating a tutorial video series is probably the best thing to do. Not only for him, but to help absolutely anyone who's having issues with anything OBS related. Anyways, without further ado, today I'm going to be going through my audio recording scheme. As you can see, I have three inputs going into my OBS, my desktop audio, desktop audio 2, and my microphone. Obviously, I'm speaking into my mic, and into my desktop audio, I have songs playing off of Google Play, Spotify, etc. And in desktop audio 2, if I go ahead and play something through Discord, such as friends speaking, you can see that it goes into desktop audio 2. So I've got my game sound slash music, desktop audio 2 is my Discord sound, and number three is my microphone. Why do I do it this way? Well, I simply do it so that I can go ahead afterwards, after recording a video, and change the volume of each individually without affecting the quality overall, or getting rid of sound entirely if I need to block something out. It's incredibly useful if you go ahead and split them up this way, because after you're done recording, you'll have three separate audio tracks as well as a single video track. So you can go ahead and cut out yourself, Discord sound, etc., or your game sound. Anyways, how exactly do we get to setting this up? Well, there's two things that we need to change inside of OBS Studio. Now, I'll only be showing you what to change. I won't be able to change them as I'm recording, however. But head into the settings over here and head across to the Output tab, then Recording. And we'll need to make sure that we're on Output Mode Advanced. Then, down here for Audio Track, make sure that 2, 3, and 4 are ticked if you have 3 audio outputs. If you have 2, simply check 2 and 3. Why exactly am I skipping the first one? Well, because all of these are going to the first quote unquote audio track, and that goes to Twitch. As you can see, audio track number one. These are circular buttons, meaning you can only click on one and only stream one at a time. However, recording, you can check multiple tracks and record them separately. So, basically, I have all of my sounds here going to output one, which I'm not recording. However, when I do stream, that is why they're all combined. Then, for output 2, 3, 4, I have my desktop audio, desktop audio 2, and microphone in three separate outputs. Once you have these checkbox checked, you can hit OK, and we'll head back to here. Of course, by now you should have all of your audio inputs and outputs here. However, if you don't, you can head across to Settings, Audio, and you can set Desktop Audio, Desktop Audio 2, and Microphone. My audio DAC has two stereo outputs that combine into my headphones, so that's why I have audio 1, 2, and a 3 and 4. If you're using just a normal pair of headphones and you only have one output, but you need to separate your Discord sound from your game sound, etc., then I'd highly recommend using something like Virtual Audio Cable and setting those two as your defaults and then combining them into one. But either way, that's outside of the scope for this video. Assuming you have multiple outputs or multiple inputs and you want to keep them separate, make sure that you have them all listed on this list over here. Of course, if they're not desktop audio and microphone audio through physical inputs, you can also add audio inputs in sources by going to audio input capture, output capture, and you can even add NDI audio, video audio, etc., etc. Once you have all of your outputs in the audio mixer, we'll hit one of these cogwheels next to any one of these outputs. Then we'll go to Advanced Audio Properties, and we'll have this window over here. As you can see, I have one checked for everything, meaning that everything here will be sent at the volumes that they're set here into Audio Track 1. And this is what goes out to Twitch or YouTube when I'm live streaming. Then I have Desktop Audio, the top line over here, sending to 1 and 2. So for recording, one is ignored. However, for streaming, one is the only one that's used. So I have two checked for desktop audio. Desktop audio two, I have three, and two is unchecked. Then mic, I have four checked, and all of the rest unchecked. So two, three, and four as such. Meaning that when I do record two, three, and four, which we set in the output settings earlier, there'll be one of these on each of those audio tracks. Once you're done recording, if you head across to where you record to, you can possibly run a script like FFmpeg to go ahead and separate the audio, or it'll automatically work as such inside of your video editor of choice. So I have a single MKV file, and inside of it is a video, and if I right-click, I have the option to choose Audio Tracks, 
where I can choose one, two, three, four, or microphone. These are the three audio tracks that I recorded with in OBS Studio. However, these are not my outputs because microphone is not an output. Outputs are listed under audio device and you can see they're different. So these are embedded audio tracks inside of the video. If I head into where I split them, you can see I have the video followed by audio zero, one, and two, meaning desktop audio, desktop audio two, and microphone. Now, if I go ahead and open up something like Premiere and I drag and drop either the MP4 with three audio tracks or the split up version that has a video and three audio tracks, you'll be able to edit each of them individually. I've gone ahead and opened up HitFilm Pro just to demonstrate to you that this works in even obscure software. I remember I had a key lying around from this from a humble bundle way back when, and I've never got around to actually using it, so I'll go ahead and try it here. But if you're planning on using something like Sony Vegas, Premiere Pro, Camtasia Studio, etc., etc., they all support this feature natively. If they don't support a video track with multiple audio tracks, you'll have to split them up manually using something like FFmpeg. And if you're confused about that, don't worry, I've got a script linked in the description down below if you need it. But by dragging and dropping in either the separated audio and video, you can go ahead and put them on each of their own tracks as such. So as you can see, I have audio track zero, one, and two. However, because I was recording this tutorial separately from this video, there is no sound in the desktop audio or desktop audio too. It was only me talking down here. If I go ahead and remove these, as well as remove them from the media library over here, I can go ahead and drag and drop in the actual MKV original file instead. However, because I recorded into MKV, it isn't supported by a lot of programs. Why do I record MKV instead of MP4? Well, simply for the possibility if I crash, I get to keep the entire video, so I'm fine with transcoding it later. By running a simple command as such, I can go ahead and remix the video from MKV into MP4 using something like FFmpeg, or of course you can use the built-in one from OBS Studio by going to File and then Remux Recordings. You can hit the three dots, select the video file, and it'll do exactly the same. I just prefer this way because I'm more used to the command line as such. Either way, once it's completed, I'll go ahead and drag and drop the MP4 file into HitFilm Pro as such. And if I go ahead and drag and drop it into the timeline, you'll see that there's only one audio track. Why is this? Well, it's because HitFilm Pro doesn't support embedded tracks like this as far as I know. However, I don't have a ton of experience with it. Either way, opening up the properties for the video, you can see I have an audio tab over here where I can select audio one, two, and three. For these tutorial videos, I just use my microphone, so I'd select just that audio track, and as you can see, it changes down below. And that's exactly what we wanted. If we were using something that supported multiple audio tracks inside of a single video, such as Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas, this would probably be a bit easier. I'm not well experienced with HitFilm, but I'm using this purely as an example to show you that it works with basically anything. Of course, if you do want the separate audio tracks, you can simply run a script that separates the audio from the video. It's a bit more work, however, I'd much rather take a tiny little bit of extra effort over having an entire recording ruined because one of these audio devices wasn't recording properly, it was far too loud, or something really bad was said over an important part. Either way, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.